Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share my August and September favorites. If you haven't seen my other favorites videos, I will leave a link to that playlist above. I always go through the same categories in the same order, and I have lots and lots of videos of favorites. So if you want to go check those out, go right ahead. I sincerely cannot believe that we are already into October and that I'm filming this for the past two months. I always keep lists of my favorites on my phone, and I remember when I was creating the August and September favorites list blank so that I could fill it out, I thought, gosh, that's going to be so weird to film that video because it's going to mean that my pregnancy is just about over. So I am 38 weeks pregnant at the time of filming. And um, here we are doing August and September favorites. So let's start off with food and drink, like we always do. I have the items over here, the things that I can show you, some things I won't be able to, um, but some things I will. One thing in food and drink that's sort of silly that I have been absolutely loving are these sun-made dark chocolate yogurt covered raisins. I absolutely love these things. They've been definitely a pregnancy craving, um, but I have been eating these a lot. It's just a nice little sweet treat, a little snack to eat. Um, really easy to pack. I just love these things. So these have been a funny little thing that I've been all about lately. Another thing are red grapes. So I have been all about eating red grapes and obviously raisins are grapes as well. So something, my body is craving grapes right now, I guess, but those dark chocolate covered raisins and um, red grapes have been two huge things in the food and drink category that have been my favorites through August and September. The next category is makeup and beauty. And I have two great things that I'm looking forward to sharing in that category. The first thing is this makeup remover wipe. These things are amazing. I have seen these on Instagram. Um, you can get them in a variety of different places. I've seen them in like hot pink and different sets of three or four or whatever. This one I bought from Grove Collaborative, which is a company that I have been using and loving for a long time. Um, that's another one that I have a referral link to and the referral link for Grove is amazing. For you, you end up getting like a free five piece Mrs. Myers cleaning set. So if you're interested, at least go check it out. Uh, my mom just started using Grove Collaborative and she's like, she calls me and tells me about it all the time. She like loves it. I love it too. Anyway, this is, let me try to get it up close so you can see the texture. It's this really kind of fleecy texture um, on this wipe. And all you do is get this wet with water, wring it out so it's damp, and you just gently pull it across your face and it will remove literally all of your makeup. I just pulled this out of the wash so it's completely clean, but it will be just foundation, mascara, eyeliner, eyeshadow, lipstick, everything will be on this wipe. So this is what I use as my first step currently before I go ahead and cleanse my face. So I just, you know, put water on it, wring it out, gently rub it all over my face. It like grabs the makeup off your skin. It's I kept hearing people talk about it and I was like, this is too good to be true. Then I saw that they were offering it on Grove, so I picked one up and now I just love it. It's great for travel as well. You don't have to bring like makeup remover, makeup remover wipes. And another reason why I like it is because I have eyelash extensions and you can't use anything oil-based on them and you just have to be really careful. Um, you don't want to use a bunch of different products on them because it will they'll fall out a lot faster. And since this is just water, I can just gently go around my eyes without ruining them. So anyway, I really love this. Um, I will link this per this particular one, which is on Grove, and I will also find um, a similar version that is available on Amazon. If you're not a Grove person, then you can check it out on Amazon. But um, highly recommend it. I was skeptical. All these Instagram girls were talking about it, and um, like I said, I picked one up, and it totally works. It totally works. And so, like I said, I do that first, and then I go ahead and do, um, you know, wash my face. And I'm still using that rooted cleanser um, that I talked about, I don't know, a couple of favorites videos ago. That's also from Grove Collaborative. So that is the first thing in makeup and beauty. The next thing is this. This is, let's see, if we can get this to focus. This is the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mascara. And, um, mini brush mascara it says i want to show the brush because it is teeny 
it's just a little tiny brush. Now, like I said, I have eyelash extensions. Eyelash extensions are only on your top lash. They're only on my top lashes, I should say. And so I was looking for a mascara that had a mini brush so that I could use it on my bottom lashes. Now, I'm filming this late at night, so I'm not sure how great my... I'm not sure how great any of this is looking at this point, but first thing in the morning, it looks great. Um, but I love this stuff. I really like it. I like the applicator and I like the brush. I like the formula. I don't feel like it flakes off and gives you raccoon eyes too much at all. Um, I just really like it. So it's relatively, relatively inexpensive. Um, I got it at, I think, CVS. But anyway, if you are looking for a bottom lash mascara, I recommend that one. It's a good one. I think it would be fine for your top lashes too, but specifically I purchased it for the bottom lashes. Moving on to home decor and products. The first thing I want to talk about is my new suitcase. I am not going to try to hold this thing up, so I will pop in a picture of what it looks like. It is an e-bags hard-sided spinner, and it's in this gorgeous like rose gold blush pinky kind of color. And I used it for the first time in... Uh, late August, early August. I used it for the first time when I was going home to Maryland um, a couple of months ago now, and I just love it. Now, I will always and forever have a special place in my heart for the eBags Motherload suitcases that I have talked about ad nauseum over the years, and I love those because they are not very heavy and they are huge. So you can really pack them out. So when we're going on week-long trips, when we're going to visit my family for the holidays and we want to be able to bring gifts for friends and family, it's just like perfect. It's so nice to have a suitcase that's large enough that it can accommodate everything that you need and you don't have to each bring multiple suitcases. We both have this, it's a mother load and we both, that's what we carry. I'll link the mother load below as well. But this other one is great for shorter trips, and that is what I was looking for. I felt like the mother load was slightly overkill for going for like a long weekend, which is something that I, I go home for long weekends. I've been going home for long weekends a lot lately, actually, but it's nice to, when I say going home, I mean going to my hometown, which is in Maryland, and I currently live in Texas. Anyway, I just really loved it. I like the way that it travels. I like that there are four wheels. It was super easy to maneuver through the airport. I felt like it was extremely easy to pack because of the hard-sidedness of it, and so using packing cubes in it, everything was super organized. I felt like it was all of my items were very well protected because unlike the mother wheel, which is more like a giant rolling duffel almost, it's hard-sided. So it's just there's pros and cons to both. It depends on what you're needing and what you're looking for, but I was very, very happy with that. Um, also, if you're an extremely light packer or if you're just a lighter packer, then you could totally use this spinner um, that I'm discussing now for a week-long trip. It just happens to be that when we go on week-long trips, it's often to go to Disney World and we usually like to bring lots of different options, lots of different footwear, lots of different things for those types of trips, or it's usually that we're going to Maryland and that's often for a holiday. And so, again, it's a situation where we need fancy outfits for going, you know, to family events and going out to dinner and doing these different things and then casual outfits and then swimsuits and towels and it just ends up being that we need a lot. So it's nice to have a bigger suitcase for that. I apologize if I sound out of breath. I am out of breath <laughs> all the time. Um, the second thing in my home decor and products category is this stuff. This is the Mrs. Myers countertop spray or multi-surface spray in the apple cider set. Now I have certainly talked about this over the years. This is not the first time. I love, this is by far my favorite Mrs. Myers scent. By far, by far, by far. I just love it. It, it, it smells exactly like fall to me. I am such, it, it's funny because I, I just am not a big pumpkin person, like pumpkin spice stuff or pumpkin pie. I'm, I, it's sort of like take it or leave it, but anything apple cider or apple-y, I am all about. Uh, there was a farm in Maryland um, near where I grew up that did apple, apple cider slushies and apple cider donuts, and I used to get one of each every fall, and I just like loved them. But anyway, this smells amazing. I love the way that it cleans. I get it from Grove. I know that you can get this from anywhere that sells Mrs. Meyer so uh, top of my head. I know Target sells it, but it is definitely, it just is, it's a pick-me-up. I always buy, I also, so this is the spray, and then I also always buy the dish soap and a hand soap so that our kitchen sink has all three of them. 
and there's just something joyful to me about that. I love the way this smells. So that is my apple cider scent spray that makes me super, super happy. Moving on to entertainment, which is anything like TV, podcast, music, books, internet, YouTubers, whatever. And this month I actually have two YouTubers to share that I have been really loving. The first one is a woman named Bridget Taylor and her last name Taylor is spelled T-E-Y-L-E-R. Um, so so note that and she is a birth doula and she has she creates videos about birth and about postpartum and about breastfeeding and about just educating you know childbirth and child rearing breastfeeding educational videos and um, i just really like her vibe and her style and her video quality is excellent so it's really easy to watch um and i just have enjoyed watching her videos over the past couple of months because uh, for obvious reasons. The next one is not related to birth. Her name is Kate McCabe and she is a um, vlogger out of the UK and she mostly does um, charity shop hauls and um, car boot sale hauls which I've come to find out are like in America what we call flea markets or um, yeah, I think that's what we are sort of like garage sales, like community wide garage sales. Um, but car boot sale is like such a better name. I wish that's what we called them here. But anyway, she goes to these places and she finds these treasures. And I'm thinking, I, I, I have never come across these kinds of treasures in any thrift store that I've ever been in. But she finds these amazing things and she and her long term partner have recently gotten engaged and she's planning their wedding and has been going to, um, these places and picking up like china that she's gonna have each guest have a little giant you know like a little teacup and saucer and all the anyway i just really like her her accent is lovely and i find her really easy to listen to and i really like putting on her videos when i am you know packaging etsy orders or i'm doing my makeup and i can just it's just she's really lovely to listen to so i will link her below as well as bridget taylor the other one all right, I have three things in the clothing and accessories category. The first one I do have here, but popping in a picture will probably be a lot easier for you to see. It is this navy blue ma t-shirt maxi dress. So here's what it looks like, and I will pop in a picture <laughs> of it on the Amazon listing. It's from Amazon. I bought it in January of this year, actually in anticipation of our January Disney World trip, which feels like it was 85,000 years ago because this year has been so, it's just been so wild. But um, I have worn that thing a hundred times this year. I've worn it for so many different occasions. It's so comfortable and easy and it's totally bump friendly. It's not a maternity dress, I bought it. I actually was pregnant the first times that I wore it but I had no idea. The baby was like one or two days old. Um, but it's just been great. Like I'll put like, you know, a little jacket on with it, or you can put on a little sweater with it. You can put it with wedges or flats. Um, you can do jewelry. Like it's just so easy and it fits over the bump. Like I said, it's very comfortable. I've worn it to church. I've worn it out on dates. I've worn it to go shopping. Like I just really have worn this dress constantly, like all the time. So I highly recommend it. If you're looking for something that's really comfy, it would be great. If you live in a very cold climate, now would not be the time. But if you live somewhere like I do where it's it's Texas, it's not going to be chilly here for another, I don't know, a couple of months at least. And even in the winter, you could probably get away with wearing that with, you know, like a sweater or something like that on the top. I highly recommend it. It's just an easy, very easy thing to throw on. Very comfortable. But it looks nice. I mean, it's, it's, you look pulled together and you can pair it with the belt or you can do what people tie it up or people will put like a t-shirt over the top of it. People are a lot more stylish than I am. But anyway, that's a piece of clothing. It was very inexpensive. I think it was $16.99 or maybe $19.99 um, when I bought it and I have worn it dozens of times. The next thing in clothing and accessories are that I got some new Apple Watch bands. So I've had my Apple Watch here for just about a year and I really love it. Here it is. And I have had it with just the, the kind of blush pink band that it came with. Now, so I recently, this is like really kind of hard to do, cover up my face. I really recently bought this really pretty sky blue one and then I do keep like a case on it. I love this case on that front of it. I'll link that below as well. The sky blue one is really pretty. And then I also got this kind of cranberry red one. These are all from Amazon. 
sort of hard to see with the glare. And then this one I love, it's like a grayish lavender. I thought this would be nice in the winter time. So I got the blue one just because I, I just, I really like blue. Um, I thought I'd wear this for the next couple of months and then I would um, switch into this one for like the Christmas season. I thought that sounded kind of fun and festive and then this one maybe in like January. So I had, I, prior to that I've just been wearing the, the blush pink one for the past, like I said, like year, year and a half or however long I've had it. And the other day I was thinking this blush pink one it has gotten mangled. I mean, wearing something every single day, it's like stretched out and it was like stained and it was it was just janky. It was time to get something fresh. So I went on Amazon and I couldn't believe these were, I don't know, seven bucks each. So I'll link them below. And those were three colors, these three colors that I picked, but then there were dozens of other colors to choose from as well. So you can pretty much get whatever color you want. But I thought those were pretty fun um, just for you know, a refresher. It's something that I look at so many times in a day and I, I'm constantly aware of it, so it's nice to have some other options. The next thing is our slippers. These are these Muck Luck, yeah, Muck Luck slippers. Um, here's what the tag looks like. Now, I've seen these on Amazon. I always get them in an XL because I strongly dislike the feeling of my toes being squished in any way. So I always buy a, um, buy my like sneakers, my running shoes, tennis shoes, a full size up and then slippers, I usually buy two sizes up because I, I do not, that feeling is awful to me. Anyway, I, because I work from home and we have tile floors in parts of our house and I do not like my feet being cold at all, I end up wearing slippers all winter long. So starting around now, around mid-October or so, I will wear them all the way through March or April, every day, pretty much all day long. And so you should have seen my ones from last year. So I buy a fresh pair every year because they get nasty. They get, they just get like, just totally worn out because I've, they've just been worn and worn and worn and worn. So these I buy from Walmart. The, my ones last year I bought from Walmart and then these are from Walmart as well. I'm sure they have the price on them somewhere. Um, I'm going to say 13, I was going to guess higher, $13.98. So if you have a Walmart near you, I would check these out. These are the kind I like. I don't like slip in slippers because I don't like the way that feels. Um, I feel like they're constantly, I have to, you have to kind of walk like with your toes, which is the opposite of what I want because I don't like the feeling of my toes being jammed. I'm sounding like a crazy person about slippers, which is fair because I think that I am. Um, but these I really like because they're more like little booties. And so you can put your feet in them and walk around normally. And I just like the way they feel. But I have bought a fresh pair at Walmart. I think this is the third year in a row that I've done this. And they hold up really well. I really like them. And they're $13.98. So you can't really beat that. And they have a few different patterns. I thought these were cute. Um, they're kind of gray and then fuzzy on the inside. And then they have this sort of wintry pattern on the outside, on the back. So there's my muck luck slippers that I really like. <sighs> it's hard for me to talk this much. <laughs> it's probably hard for you to listen to me this much too, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, moving on to a price list and moving on to price list. When I went home with that e-bags spinner suitcase that I was talking about, my mom and sister threw me a beautiful baby shower in Maryland with all of my childhood friends and longtime family friends and family members because pretty much everyone, I'm like the one that went rogue and went out to Texas. Everyone's pretty much still there in my hometown. And so we had a baby shower and um, it was just so lovely. It was beautiful. And I posted some pictures on Instagram if you want to go check it out. But it was really, really fun. It was so great to see everybody because I a lot of those people I don't regularly see. And so to be able to all have, you know, everybody in the same room, it was just really a nice time. So that was definitely like just a, a memory, you know, that first baby shower with your first baby, like, I don't think you ever forget that. So I have stored that memory away. Um, another memory that I have for sure stored away forever is was the birth of my nephew, my sister's first baby, baby Henry. I've definitely talked about him on here before, so this isn't the first time I'm mentioning that, but he was born on August 24th, and he is beautiful and perfect, and I was there for the birth, and it was incredible, 
incredible. One of the coolest experiences of my life. So I just loved being there. That was for sure the highlight of the past two months by far. I was just Marco Poloing with her, which is like a video texting app. And she was just showing me him and he's gotten so big already. He's gotten so, so big. It's amazing how fast they change and their little faces change and everything like that. Another thing in the priceless category, although this is not priceless, this it has been, we have spent money, is um, that we finished our nursery. We are finished with the nursery. I still have some organizing I'd like to do in the closet, but as far as the main parts of the nursery, everything is done. Everything is hung up. It's all framed. It's all, it's just completely done. And it is so exactly the vision that I had for it. And I just like love it. I love it so much. I will pop in a clip. I took a little sneak preview clip that I will pop in here. And bear in mind that I've filmed this at night. So it's not, you're not getting the full effect because it's not daytime, but it's just a girly, cozy. I just love it. I love that nursery. Um, so that's, like I said, the priceless is part of it has been like the feeling of having a completed nursery that looks like it's ready to receive a baby and going in there and sitting in that rocker and just imagining her being here and it's so special. So I'm going to film a detailed nursery tour and it will go live after her birth because I filmed a little sneak preview of the corner of the room because she has personalized stuff around the room. So once her name is shared and she is here, I will share the rest of the nursery and I can't wait for that. The last thing, and this is kind of a funny and unique thing um, that I wasn't sure if I wanted to share, but I decided I wanted to document it just because kind of why not? And it's just, it's just been like a fun, fun little thing about this pregnancy is that ever since I found out that I was pregnant, I, and before then even, which is why this picture is in the background, which I'll talk about in a second, I have had this weird, um, draw or feeling toward the Disney movie, Disney version of the movie Rapunzel, which I do. I love. I love that movie. And um, I love the songs in it. And I just like, I just really like that movie. But there has been something about like when the music comes on, like the, the song At Last I See the Light or, or, or any of those songs from the movie, I it's like instant welling up of emotion and tears and I don't know, I just have had this weird connection between this baby in my belly and this, and Tangled, the movie Tangled and Rapunzel and like the whole, it's all just, it's this weird kind of connection. Well, I was going through our um, Disney photos from January and if you don't know, we, we had been trying to get pregnant for over a year and weren't having any luck. And so um, we went to Disney and we were like, we went and stayed at our dream resort and we just did this like amazing trip to sort of get our minds off of all of the difficulty of trying to get pregnant and not getting pregnant. And I talked about all of this in my I'm pregnant trying to conceive journey video. Anyway, I was going through pictures from that trip and this is one of the pictures that we had taken. I know it's kind of hard with the glare, but it's in the Tangled section of Magic Kingdom. So you can see all of Rapunzel's lights and one of her lanterns. And then it's us, you know, obviously looking at each other and holding a lantern. And now when I look at this, it makes me cry because what I didn't know when we were in Disney this January was that we had conceived and gotten pregnant the week I don't know, maybe not the week before, three to four days before we left for the trip, but I had no idea no idea. And so this picture to me is so, it just, it's like so representative of our baby girl being like this light in our life. And, um, us, I just look at this picture. I'm like, if only she knew, if only I knew, Oh, it makes me so emotional. If only I knew I was going to go home and get a positive pregnancy test. I just can't even imagine what I would have thought if someone had told me that when we were taking that picture in that moment. Um, so that picture in particular is just really special to me because it's like, it's almost like I feel like it's the, f the first picture of my pregnancy, even though at the in the moment I did not know that I was pregnant, but it's like we're holding this light and it's just like we're just holding this baby that's going to be such a light to us and she's coming and all these things. So anyway, that and then this music and like all these things. And it's just this, I don't know if like, Maybe she's gonna have like bright blonde hair. I had blonde hair as a kid and Riley did too. Maybe she's gonna have this like gorgeous blonde hair and that's like a part of it. Or I don't know like what all is gonna, like why I have this like weird 
connection with this movie Rapunzel, but I also kind of feel like her personality, the baby's personality, I just have a feeling she's going to be a fireball and um, real spunky like Rapunzel is in the movie Tangled. So anyway, I don't know. There's just something I just want to like share that it, it's totally, it's very priceless. It's just like a very weird feeling based thing that I've been feeling for a while now. And then when I saw that picture um, recently, I went and got it printed and I bought that frame at um, Home Goods, I think, and I was like, I have to have that photo framed. Like that has to, that photo has to be framed in our house because it represents so much more than just us being in Magic Kingdom one night. It's like this dream that we had, and like we're holding it. And what I didn't know is that she was in my belly even then, and I had no idea. It's amazing. So anyway, just sharing that, um, just sharing that little emotional, pregnant, funny Disney connection. Um, so. She that is definitely the Disney princess or the I love Disney and that Rapunzel and Tangled by far is the Disney thing that reminds me the very most of this baby and I'll be interested to see how that plays out if at all you know if she happens to love Tangled or if she like has long blonde hair if she's spunky like her or I don't know what but it's just like it goes together for me so before I cry anymore, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I had to free up stuff on my memory card and also I just realized that I have a um, piece of hair sticking straight out. So hopefully that hasn't been for the whole video, but if it has, forgive me. I'm 38 weeks pregnant and I'm a hot mess. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I'm ending the video now. And um, I hope you guys are having a really great day. I would love for you to comment below and let me know what you've been loving over the past two months. And I will hopefully be back soon. I have a few videos I'd really like to film if I have the time before she arrives. And um, otherwise, I'll be back in the next few months, you know, once we get back into our rhythm and our routine. Thank you so much for your support and all of your love and um, just well wishes. Like every day I have people commenting and saying, good luck with labor. I hope things go well. We're praying for you, thinking about you. And you have no idea how much that means to me and to us. So anyway, thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.